Hey there, I'm Victoria, and last month I saw the internet in real life, or VidCon, and this month I saw reality TV in real life. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Duck Dynasty. I was lucky enough to get to see the whole Robertson family in real life. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, proof is coming in this video, so just wait. So overall, July went by really fast, but a lot of fun things happened, such as my mom and brother um, rode a jetpack. Yeah, um, we also got to go on a cruise with the amazing cast of Duck Dynasty, and I got baptized by Phil Robertson. So, all that and more. First off, if you weren't aware, July 4th was in this month. Now what did I f do for July 4th, you may be asking yourself? Who am I kidding? No one cares, but I'm still gonna share it. So on July 4th, our neighbors across the street, they were doing fireworks in the street, so we invited ourselves by bringing chairs over and sitting with them, so that was fun. And then they proceeded to bring out some kind of questionable fireworks. One of the fireworks required the person to hold a stick and then it would shoot out. So he was holding it and it shot across the street into our roof. Yeah. And then the second one went across the street and into the tree in our front yard. Yes, I'm very glad I was not in the house to see this ball of fire coming at our house. That would have been really weird. Needless to say, we are never going to let those neighbors live that down. Not a chance. And let's be real, I don't really get why we blow stuff up to celebrate our country's like independence. Also something super random, our neighbor told us about this authentic Hawaiian shaved ice place in my town. That's so exciting. Now if you have not had an authentic Hawaiian shaved ice, you have been missing out my friend. I am sorry. It is really good. It has really creamy and just delicious ice cream at the bottom and then they have this no gum because that's what this no gum is and really good syrups on it and then it puts some condensed milk on top and it's just delicious i have to admit i went two days in a row but i don't think the employees recognize me thank goodness i'm definitely going back a few more times before i go back to school and then i got on a plane with my family and we went to florida for a cruise with the amazing cast of duck dynasty but before the cruise we decided to go for a few days in key largo now, coincidentally, um, Key Largo is known for key lime pie. My mom still denies that this is the reason she chose to go there for a few days, but I think we all know it was for the key lime pie, which is delicious, by the way. So we went to Key Largo for a few days. It was lovely getting to spend some time there. We went snorkeling, and as I mentioned earlier, my mom and brother got to fly a jetpack. Yeah, they exist. Only uh, maybe 10 or 11 places in the world are like licensed to like use them with the public. It's so really cool that they got to do that. Look like Iron Man and all that stuff. Like, look how high he goes in some of these shots. Crazy. My brother was really good at picking it up, so the person taught him how to go up really high, do spins, uh, even a backflip. And I'm just glad they didn't break any of the equipment, because the person said it um, all together it's worth 100000 That is 100000 I don't have, so I didn't touch it. Needless to say, that is coming off my brother's Christmas list, a jetpack. So I decided just to watch because, you know what, my brother is the one to jump out of planes, to parasail, to ski in a gorilla suit, and now jetpack. Yep, my family is weird. After my brother was out there for, I think it was about a half an hour, my mom had her turn and she had a blast. And also I found something that's really fun to do, is to tell people that she did ride a jetpack because they look at her and be like, Okay, one, you rode a jetpack, and two, those things exist. Why have I not ridden one before? So seeing people's reactions when we say that they rode a jetpack was really funny, and I still like saying it just to shock people. And then after all that awesomeness, we headed back to Miami to go on the Duck Dynasty cruise. Correction, Duck Commander cruise. If you're not aware, in Duck Dynasty, the company that they work for and have founded is Duck Commander, rather than the Duck Dynasty name owned by a &E. So without a &E, micromanaging everything, the cast of Duck Dynasty could really do whatever they wanted. They had freedom to do things like Phil had a Bible study, Phil preached, there was a morning worship session, and then also Jace preached. So they could not have done that if A&E had all their hands of micromanaging everything. If you don't know what Duck Dynasty is, I'm sorry, you have been deprived. I do not know what rock you've been living under that doesn't have a satellite connection and does not get A&E on TV because Duck Dynasty is amazing. And side note, my mom and I figured out that we watched it either the week it premiered or the week after it premiered two years ago, and we've loved it ever since. So I'm like, we've been around since the beginning. 
And if you checked out my channel recently, I posted a montage video from the cruise various clips. There's a lot of fun stories from Jace and Sai, so go check that out. I mean, on the cruise, we really got to see who the people really were in real life, and they really are what they are in TV. I know probably you're like, yeah, right, Victoria, yeah, right. Um, but they really are. They truly are the people we see on TV, and they're even more awesome in real life dare I say. And I know that's not only because I saw them on stage and various events, um, I saw them walking down our hallway because they were 10 or 15 uh, rooms down the hallway from us. So every once in a while I'm like, was that someone's voice walking past like our door? And then twice I was walking down the hallway and Jessica Jeff's wife so, like poked her head out and like almost hit us. I'm like, hi. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting to see that there. So they were just normal rooms just like us. And uh, they didn't really like block it off. And believe it or not, in the first five minutes we were on the ship, our friends saw John Luke and Sadie. And then a few minutes later, I saw Becca and Bella. I saw Becca, John Luke, Sadie, and also Reed like so many times on the ship. It was just nice to see them wander around. I'm like, oh, that's so and so that I almost bumped into. Way to go, me. Now, the only person I really didn't see much of on the cruise was Sai. I did see him on stage, and I saw him going upstairs with the biggest sombrero. Um, I didn't see him as much on the cruise, uh, just because I think he is too popular and would have gotten way too many marriage proposals if he was out and about. Um, but I did get to see so many of them so many times. As I was walking down the hallway, I walked past Willie and Corey, and they made like eye contact with me. <laughs> yeah, big time. And also, I made eye contact with Jace when we had a meet greet with Robinson. Cue the picture. Yeah, we didn't really get to talk to them. Yeah, but Jace shook my dad's hand and then I said something to God with and I was gone. Okay, like they had 3,000 people. That is a lot. I could not sit and take that many pictures. I really couldn't. Nope. One time my brother was like coming out of our door and all of a sudden Scotty McCurdy, um, he was the American Idol a few years back. He was um, the young country singer. He performed. Anyway, him and Willie were having a conversation. Andrew kind of like walked in the middle of them somehow and he's walking down the hallway like Scotty's in front of him and Willie's right behind him and they're continuing their conversation. And I'm like, okay, any other celebrity would have had security shoo him away or just kind of like stop talking. But like he was just there hanging out with them. And like I don't want to consider it stalking because they were living on the same floor with us. Like I was walking past their doors not because I was waiting for them to come out. It's because I was going that direction. And like one time after Jace was preaching, he was walking upstairs and I was about half a flight, a flight ahead of him. And I was walking down the hallway and I was like hearing him like 10 feet behind me. I'm like, I could turn around and get a picture right now. But I just... I don't know, just seeing them wasn't enough for me. And yeah, I know that is a very lame claim to fame, but it's still cool. And like, I'm not one to get really starstruck, like, oh my gosh, it's them, my life is complete. Um, but it's just really cool because um, I really do look up to these people and really respect them. And so just to see them in real life is just kind of cool. Like, I didn't need a picture to prove it or to remember it by. And another big thing is that the fans on this ship uh, were very different than what I experienced with VidCon that I've ranted about a lot. Um, they were just very respectful. And I can't even really explain it, but everyone on the boat really had respect for the Robertsons and like they weren't bombarded as soon as they walked out of their door with pictures and signatures. There was 3,000 people on the boat that came only to see that, like that they love them. I really didn't know what to expect with the crews and the crowd, but it exceeded all expectations. But something I really love about the Robertson family is how just supportive they are of each other. Because like on the show, you know, oh, they love each other, yeah, 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 it's just big cameras, but they truly do love each other and getting to spend time with each other. And um, even during the shows, so a lot of times they'd be sitting in the audience and you can kind of just like see them interacting with each other. They're just so real people. Have I said that enough in the video? I don't think so. So they're just so genuine, the most down-to-earth people I've ever seen. And not only because they're on TV, they're just really just plain awesome. And they said so many awesome things over the weekend. One thing Jay said was, you know, we don't really like want this fame. We don't want to be put on this pedestal, but with people putting us on this pedestal, uh, we want to use that as an opportunity to point people to Christ. And that's exactly what they're doing. And you know what? They truly are evangelists making disciples everywhere they go crazy they baptize over 200 people on a ship of 3,000 and when Jason and Phil were preaching like it was pretty full that's and that's exciting that people were willing to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning to go see some redneck preach so many times throughout the weekend I was seeing how they genuinely are living examples and for me I think they're the greatest example of any Christians living in the public eye that I've seen at least in my in my lifetime and now if you don't know this already they are celebrities now this cruise of 3,000 actually sold out in two weeks 
a year ago. We were really lucky to be part of that 3,000 that got to spend the weekend with them. And so I mentioned I got baptized. Well, um, after Phil's Bible study, he mentioned anyone that wants prayer or wants to be baptized to um, somehow get their name to the Robertsons and they make that happen. So um, the next day, we were up early, like 7 a.m. early, because we had to be somewhere. And so we walked out, we noticed there's all these people at the pool, what are they doing there? And so then we noticed that Phil was baptizing people at 7 in the morning early <laughs> and it was just such a small and intimate space and it was just really cool that the only people that were there uh, were just like the family and friends of the people so there's maybe 20 people got baptized then so it was a small group and quickly a little backstory I have been a Christian for years I just never took this step to be baptized so I'm like oh this would be cool to be baptized by Phil Robertson and you know part of me didn't want to do it because oh am I doing it just for the story rather than like what I'm actually doing so, you know, I was kind of like going through that. I'm like, you know, I'm like, is it going to be more for the story or more for like the event? So when I did it, there was a ton of people. You see the pictures in the videos, a ton of people. It was kind of overwhelming. It was just really sweet and they really did it the right way. And um, first off, they had Missy, who is Jace's wife. Um, her dad who spoke to me for maybe a little less than a minute, just kind of giving like what a Christian is. And so it was much more for like a first time Christian. And it gave a little different like talk to each person that you talked to. It wasn't just the same little spiel. Then I got in the water and uh, Phil talked to me for maybe almost a minute. It was something like that. Uh, it was really nice that he was just so genuine and sincere and like he doesn't know me at all, but he cares about me as a person. So that was just really sweet and um, I'll remember that rest of my life. So it was just a really cool experience and glad I got to do that and my brother videoed it obviously. And then after all the baptisms were finished, uh, Phil would get out and he said a prayer over everyone. And I even saw a deaf person being baptized. Uh, his sister was signing for him and it was just really cool to experience. Actually, the afternoon I got baptized, over a hundred people were baptized that day. Really cool. And I know that because my mom happened to be riding down an elevator with the Phil Robertson. Yeah. I thought she was joking, but apparently she wasn't. Anyway, so she was riding down the elevator with him, and um, the person next to him was saying, like, you know what, over 100 people were baptized today, and he was just kind of in awe and just kind of, like, emotionally drained from doing this almost two hours and just kind of like, wow, I can't believe what God's doing on this cruise. Like, you know? And that's what I really like about the cruise is that uh, the Robertsons really used it as a platform to reach people, and it really had a purpose. It wasn't just like, oh, we're going to have donut eating contests the whole weekend and just redneck things like they do on the show. Uh, it really had a purpose, and I really appreciated that about it. And like, they didn't have to do that, and they really did the cruise right. And at first, I was like, yeah, I'm going on a cruise with the cast of Duck Dynasty, but now I'm like, I went on the cruise with the cast of Duck Dynasty. Ask me about it. And let's be real, after this cruise, I feel like I'm part of the family. And that's just because of how they did it. They did it right. I can't say that enough. After we got off the ship and kind of was like, you know, thinking about the whole cruise and the experience, my mom says like, you know what? I came on the ship as a fan, but I'm leaving like genuinely respecting them for like the Christian men and women they are and the examples that they are to the world. Hmm, so yeah, I think that's it for July. I hope you enjoyed my video. I know I was talking about the cruise like a lot, um, but I hope you enjoyed it at least a little bit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video and spending part of your day with me. It means a lot. So until next time, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye. And guess what? In a few days, I turn 20. <laughs> Weird. So the next time you see me in a video, I'm going to be 20. But don't expect me to be more mature and all that because of... Nope, it's going to take a few more years for that, trust me.